Hi, my name is DaVinci Jeremy, and I'm sure you want to know how safe is Bitcoin to use? How can Bitcoin ensure that it, no one can copy it or hack the system and take your Bitcoin? Today, you're about to learn how. Okay, well, thank you for watching. And if you like this, this kind of content, please hit the like. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the all button so that you are notified. Uh, so let's get on with it. The Bitcoin protocol ensures security of your Bitcoin in three key means. Two levels of encryption is secure the fact that you are the only one that's transferring Bitcoin. Consensus where everyone agrees who has what. And a blockchain to write in stone all those transactions and can never ever be changed. Did you get all that? What the fuck are you talking about? I know, I know. It was a lot of information in one sentence. But let me break it down for you. As you may already know, there is no Bitcoin CEO. It works 100% from user cooperation and usage. Anyone can open up a Bitcoin account and also create a program accessing their money without permission. Now, try asking your banker to uh, allow you to create a program to access your money. They will roll on the floor laughing at you. <laughs> I'm sure you wanna open up a Bitcoin account today. You can do so by searching in Google how to open up your first free Bitcoin account. The main thing you really want to know is if you lose your phone or your computer, does that mean that the thief has access to all your Bitcoin? The answer is really simple. Unless the thief has access to your password, there's no way they can get a hold of your Bitcoins. Encryption is a big part of how Bitcoin works. There's two types of encryption used, hashing and elliptical curve digital signature algorithm, or ECDSA. However, the names are not that relevant. The latter is broken into two keys. A public key you share with everyone else and a private key you do not share. Your private key is used to sign over Bitcoins to someone else and to verify that you and only you signed over that transaction. When you send Bitcoins to someone else, you send it to their account that looks like this. This is not called an account, it's actually called an address. Now, some of you smart whippersnappers out there might think, so that's your public key, right? Yes and no. First off, your public key looks like this. It's very long, so Bitcoin uses a second type of encryption called a hash to convert it to this, your address. And there's no way to convert your address back to a public key. So what's the point of all this? Let's say the encryption is broken. This would mean someone could take your public key and produce a private key. Because your public key is not revealed, the broken encryption does not mean someone could steal your Bitcoin. Finally, the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, knew that encryptions eventually get broken and thus made it easy to replace. So what are the key takeaways? Well, you've learned that Bitcoin wallets will give you a new address every time so that if the encryption is broken, your money is safe until a new encryption is developed. Another major part of Bitcoin is the consensus algorithm. This simply means that you spent Bitcoin you own. This is accomplished by sending everyone on the network a copy of your transaction. For the most part, a Bitcoin transaction is very, very small amount of information and can be sent to everyone on the network quickly. All users verify that the transaction is correct and if not, it's rejected and the connection is terminated. This may seem like that's all that's needed. However, it's not enough. Transactions must be written in stone. Since Bitcoin is digital, there is no stone to use. Thus, Satoshi came up with the blockchain. A blockchain is basically a ledger that stores who has what. For example, Bob has five Bitcoin. Sue has one Bitcoin. But since this is pseudo-anonymous, you do not know the person's name. You only can see the address and the amount of Bitcoin and where it came from. The blockchain does more than permanently record transactions. It is a method to pay people in Bitcoin for creating the blockchain with transaction fees and block rewards through a complex process called mining. So encryption, consensus, and the blockchain are some of the core features of Bitcoin that make it secure to use. The fact that Bitcoin runs on its own is incredible and more and more people are starting to see its power. What are you trying to tell me? That I can dodge bullets? No, Neo. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, you won't have to. I know that was a lot of information to take in, and you may have to watch this video more than once. 
or do some more research, but it will be worth it to take the time to learn. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.